If you like our content, please like, subscribe, and click the notification bell to get alerts when we introduce new videos. Welcome to the demonstration series for the Smart Zone controller based on a high scale deployment of the 5.2 Smart Zone release. The videos in this series will show the basic configuration of many aspects of the controller. In this video, we will show the process for creating a guest pass portal and associate this to a guest WLAN. We will also show the configuration of a guest pass administrator and associate this administrator to a guest pass administration group. Let's get started. We are logged into our virtual smart zone high scale and we need to create a guest pass uh, portal. So the first thing we're going to do is we're going to navigate over to services and profiles, hotspots and portals. Uh, and you can see the first tab we have here is guest access. So we're going to specify which domain and which zone we want to create this for. So we're going to go into demo domain one, demo zone one, and we're going to click the create button. Under Create Guest Access Portal, we need to give the uh, portal a name. We're just going to name it Guest Access Test. Uh, optionally, we could give it a description and we could change the language. I'm not going to do either of those uh, for this particular portal. The next section is uh, redirection. So once the user hits this portal, they're going to be trying to get to a website, um, google.com, for example. Um, but then they'll hit this Guest Access Portal. So this redirection specifies what should happen after they authenticate successfully. Should we redirect them to the URL that they were trying to get to, so google.com, or should we redirect them to an additional or another URL that we specify? I'm going to go ahead and choose to redirect them uh, to the uh, Comscope website. So we're just going to put in the Comscope URL here. So after they authenticate successfully to the Guest Access Portal, they will be pushed over to the Comscope website. Um, scrolling down, we can see guest access. The guest pass SMS gateway is disabled. Uh, if we wanted to send out the guest passes via SMS uh, and we had a Twilio account and it was linked to SmartZone and that was all defined, we could select that here. We currently don't have one configured and I'm not going to set up a Twilio account for this, but it is an option. So if you wanted to distribute those guest passes via SMS, you could certainly, certainly do that. Um, Right underneath of that, terms and conditions. Um, so the terms and conditions are what is displayed uh, as part of the guest access portal authentication. So we can turn them on and then we can modify uh, what, these, what, what these terms and conditions are. So if you had some explicit conditions that you wanted to add to this, or if you wanted to add your own legal terms to the guest access, you can, you can modify this. So I'm just gonna lightly uh, modify this just to say guest access terms of use. Additionally, we could set up our own web portal logo and we could change the web portal title. Um, this is similar to the settings that we looked at when we talked about web authentication. So um, if go back to that video and take a look at it. A lot of these are the same, including the user session timeout period and the grace period. So the session timeout again is uh, after they've, they've got a guest access uh, pass, uh, how long until it times out? So 1440, 1440 minutes or 24 hours. And then the grace period, if they were accidentally disconnected, um, they've got 60 minutes to log back in without having to reauthenticate with the guest access portal. Uh, once all the settings for the guest access portal are defined to your liking, go ahead and choose OK. Now that we've created the guest access portal, the next step that we're going to take is creating a guest pass administrator. So a guest pass administrator is someone that has the ability to create and manage guest passwords. So perhaps the system administrator doesn't want to do this themselves, but wants to delegate this to perhaps the receptionist area so they can log into the system and create these as part of a visitor badge um, request form so that people visiting the facility have access to the network. So we're going to navigate on the left-hand side over to Administration, Admins, and Roles. From here, we're going to navigate over to the Administrators tab. So first, the first thing that we're going to do is actually create the individual account. So we're going to do that by selecting the domain here and choosing Create. We're going to give it an account name. We're just going to call it GPA, Guest Pass Admin, and we're going to specify a password. and then choose OK. So now we've created this account. We're gonna navigate back over to the Groups tab, and we are going to create a Guest Pass Admin group. So selecting the domain again, choosing Create. 
we're going to call it guest pass admin and we are going to select from the pre uh, configured permissions the guest pass admin role and um, it, if additionally we wanted to choose account timeout options and set up two-factor authentication uh, we could do that here with the account security tab i'll click the plus and we can we can look at that um, quickly um, but we're, we're not going to change any of those configurations here or set up another pre-configured option for that so we're going to choose cancel and we're going to accept our default account security stuff um, so in this wizard we're going to go ahead and choose next so we've defined the name and the permission group and selecting that guest pass admin went ahead and pre-selected this guest pass resource for us so this is exactly what we need for this group to administer guest passes we're going to go ahead and choose next we now have to specify which domain we want this group to apply to. So we could give it um, the entire system or one or two of these domains. We define, we define that guest pass um, portal under demo domain one. So I'm going to go ahead and select demo domain one and move it over to the selected domains and choose next. Once we do that, uh, we can see the available users to assign this group and we can see our created GPA account. So we're going to go ahead and do that. We're going to grab him and move him over and choose next. Uh, and then we can do a final review on this to make sure we're all good before we choose OK. Now that we have the guest pass admin group, we have a guest pass administrator defined and associated to that group, and we created the guest access uh, portal. We are now ready to create a guest wireless LAN. So we're going to navigate over to wireless LANs. We're going to select uh, demo zone one with under under demo domain one and you can see we've got a few uh, WLANs defined here already but we're going to create the guest one so we're going to click create we're going to name it guest and it'll take the SSID of guest as well it's under demo zone one and WLAN group corp so this just specifies which access point group uh, in this environment that the guest WLAN will propagate on under authentication options, we are, this is where we're going to set up our guest WLAN. So we're going to choose guest access here. And when we do that, we can see dynamically that guest access portal populates. So guest access portal service, this is the guest portal that we created. So there is only one, and it knew what domain we were in. So it went ahead and populated. If there were additional portals, we could select them from the drop-down list here, but we've only got the one. Uh, we discussed bypass CNA and portal detection and suppression in the web auth video. So if you want to go back and check that video out, you can get a description on what that means. Uh, and then our guest authentication is set to guest by default. Uh, the options here are guest and always accept. So with guest chosen, uh, it is going to prompt for the guest pass passcode. Uh, if this was set to always accept, uh, they would not need to enter the passcode for this WLAN although they might need to accept the terms of service. So we're gonna leave this set as guest. Uh, and additionally, we're not using any guest accounting. So we're gonna leave that as off. So for this particular WLAN, that's the only configuration we're gonna apply. So we're gonna go ahead and choose okay. And at this point now we can see that we've got the guest WLAN uh, and it will be pushing out uh, with the guest portal. So we're gonna stop the video here. Uh, the next video that we do is going to be logging in with our guest pass admin, creating guest pass codes and looking at the templates, and then showing the overall connection process for the guest WLAN. So we hope you join us. Thank you for taking the time to view this brief demonstration.